from beating up a kid ruthlessly to staring down a student for no reason. Here's what happens when Karens end up becoming teachers. Next up, we have this baby Karen who clearly saw her parents being racist and thought she had the past to do so with her teacher as well. But not in this school, Missy. Love how everyone was hyping the kid and he was probably having the time of his life only for everything to be ruined by Little Miss Saltmine, aka Karen. Does it really physically pain them to see someone enjoying life? fuss over a stupid phone? The kids should have just been in juvie. Karens really do come in all ages. Oh, Mace? Nah, Mace is crazy. Nah, Mace is crazy. Nah, nah, nah. She just pepper sprayed me. Give me my phone. Give me my phone. You know what's the first red flag in the video? The haircut. Nothing good ever comes from a person with that haircut. Get the hell away from me! Yeah. I could do the same thing, Wade. I could do the same thing. I'll send it to Trump. Maybe he could do something. And then Obama could sue him. Karen got upset over something inside a post office in Kirkwood, Missouri, so a black employee kicked her out. And that's when she started to say some pretty out-of-pocket things. Equal my ass. You're not equal. Step on white people. As she was driving away, she was not done yet. Damn poo poo in my life. I sit here, all I want is my mail. My you mail. In, you won't come in here, ma'am. <laughs> and please step off of our life. I hope you lose your job. That's not nice, but thank you. Nice you win, you bell I'm not. Where do you get your hair done? I haven't had it done in five years. Hey boy, hey boy, boy, hey boy, hey boy, boy. For the people who are watching our video with earphones plugged in, you might want to take them out for this one. Trust me. <laughs> Poor kid, he deserves compensation for dealing with a Karen at his young age. For your teacher, and I'm your teacher today. <coughs> and I don't appreciate you talking back to me. I don't appreciate you rude to me. I really don't deserve that. I've been doing my job, you have not, all day long. All day long. And do you think that when you burst out again, Say whatever you said, they're being annoying, it's annoying, whatever. Do you think that when I'm reading, 
do you think maybe it's a little upsetting to me what continually? Nothing. You should be quiet Girl, and let me do my job. Me. What? Girl, they were all standing around me, poking at the fly with the ruler. That was actually me, son. Yeah, they were all around me. Yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. did, did you say they're being annoying? I said You said they're so annoying. annoying. Whatever. You said the word annoying, but you were disrupting me again because I'm reading a book and you're disrupting again. Whatever you're saying. And I used your word to turn it around back on you. You have been annoying all day. There is nothing wrong with that. Annoying means uh, acting up, uh, pestering. Um, it means all the things that you've been doing all day today. And it was your word that I used. The word you had just said. And I thought, I thought, someone else is being annoying. Guess what, mister? You've been annoying all day long. Oh, so that's, wow. I I just, you game. just be quiet, you just be quiet. You have no business being dramatic, thinking you're gonna tell me anything. I don't appreciate it. Now I have enjoyed subbing for all of you guys, and I even enjoyed subbing for you, even when you were disrupting most of the day. But then when you started acting like I did something to you, oh, then maybe I should just leave. That was too much. That was very dramatic. Stop. And I don't appreciate it. And you can storm out of here and slam your chair and do whatever you want to do. I still don't appreciate it. Okay. Thanks for being so great. The rest of you, you guys can go. Considering how mentally unstable this Karen is, clothes might not be the only thing she throws off the balcony. Humans might not be that out of reach for her, concerningly so. <laughs> this girl never ever. This girl is crazy. Oh wow, she's she giving them a show. She giving them a show. Look at this. She is on the rampage. Yeah, I can see her. Yo. This is what happens when I come back to New York. Oh, wow. She's still throwing stuff. And the cops is outside now. Ma'am, the jig is up. How is this old and weak male Karen arguing with a much younger, more powerful male vendor as if anything besides salt and a pinch of pepper in his meal won't send him to the ER? Okay, okay go, yeah. And to the Egyptian, uh, the Muhabarat wants your picture. Okay, yeah, let go. Yeah? You know the Muhabarat? Hmm? The Muhabarat. No, I don't know. You don't know? I just speak English. No? Yeah, go, yeah. The Muhabarat in, in Egypt will get your parents. Go, go, go. Does yeah, your yeah. father like his fingernails? They'll, they'll take them out one by one. Yalla, rah me in. Yalla, go, go, go. Why should I go? Why should I go? Tell me why I should go. I'm standing here. I'm an American. I have free... It's a free country. It's not like Egypt. No speak English. No. You don't speak English. Yes. All right. Well, that's that. See, that just shows how ignorant you are. Because your Muhammad was a. It says in the in the hadith. Oh you know, Muhammad. In your holy book. Oh Muhammad. What? Oh Muhammad. Muhammad, your your prophet. You know who he is. My prophet. Yeah. He was a. He was a Aisha. Does it say that in the hadith or not? You know that? I just speak English. What? No English. You don't speak English. What do you speak? What do you speak? Do you speak Arabic? The language of the Quran? The Holy Quran? That some some people use as a toilet? <laughs> what do you think of that? People who use the, the Quran as a toilet? Does it bother you? <laughs> Does it bother you? Tell me the truth. I don't speak English. You don't speak English? Ah, it's too bad. That's why you're selling food in a, in a food cart. 
because you're in your ignorance. But you should learn English, and it, it'll help you. Of course, When they yeah. deport you back to Egypt. Having this many Karens in one area should be classified as a national threat at this point. Fuck you, grow up. up. Get the grow up. Grow up. Grow up. Grow up. Grow up. Grow up. You stupid. I'm a grow up. You. Grow up. Your mother. Up. Oh, I grow up. up. You stupid. I'm fine, I door. will call the cops right now. That's Call. fine. Go ahead. I am a cop. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. You cut me off. Go. You stupid. Then go ahead and call the cops. You cut me go off. Go ahead and call the what cops. What the f for? You go cut me ahead off. and call the cops. Then. Get the f off the go cops. ahead and call them. Get you're you're the a cop. cop. You said go ahead and call you them. Cut me off. Go ahead and for call what? them. Go ahead and call you them. You said you're a cop. You're on a red You said you're a cop. Go ahead. And call them. Go ahead and you call them. Get out the you car. You said you're a cop and you're over here getting the, out of your car no. trying to fight you, someone. You cut me off. Trying to fight someone you in the middle of the street. Illegally. And you say you're a cop. You cut you me. say you're I'm a cop. I'm not a cop. My son is. You said you were a cop. No, I'm I have not. it on recording. You said I'm you not. were a cop. I said my son you, was. I have it here on okay, recording. Okay, but my son is. You okay, cut me off Okay, then call illegally. him. And you're over here yelling Get at me. Get out the car. Get out the street. Where's my son? Where's my son? Where's my Illegal son? Immigrant my son? Get, out. get out the car. Go ahead. Keep keep talking. Get out the keep car. Keep talking. You keep talking. Off. I'm a citizen. Immigrant. I'm a citizen of the you United States. I'm a citizen of the United States. I'm a citizen of the United States. You stupid bitch. You cut me off. And yet white people are the ones that are racist. And yet white people are the ones that are racist. You stupid bitch. You cut me off. <laughs> Okay. You illegal yeah. immigrant. Okay. Go back to Mexico. I will make sure you go viral for this. I will make sure everybody, I, a, I will make sure you everybody know. knows that you said this. I am here legally. I'm a citizen. Get the car. Why? I'm a 30 year old. I'm a, I'm a 30 year old woman with a kid. You're, you're acting stupid. You're acting stupid. Hilarious how this video recorded by the Karen herself proves that she's the one who's wrong, and as if that wasn't bad enough, she's being absolutely insufferable and loud as well. This unprofessional supposed manager just called me a bitch, okay, a customer. Get out of here. This unprofessional okay. supposed ghetto person called me a bitch, called me a West Valley Park. No, you're not going to call me a bitch no more? Exactly, exactly. Yes. Call me a bitch again. The supposed manager, the supposed manager just called me a bitch. The supposed manager just called me a bitch. Bye. 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 Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. I don't care what you do. 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 It's not against the law to record. It's not against the law to record, Jasmine. It's not against the law to record. Touch me. I dare you to. I will call the cops. I will call the cops. I will call the cops. What is going on? I will call the cops. I dare you to touch me or my phone. Who's touching you? Touch me. Who's touching you? Touch me. This manager is putting her hand in my face. Look at this. Who is putting her hand in your face? Putting your hand in my face. Look at this. Putting her hand in my face. Yes? Putting her hand in my face. It's not against the law to record. So you, no, she's on my it's not against the law to record. It's not against the law to record. Manager of an establishment called me a bitch. And for our last clip, take a look at this Karen being mad at girls for screaming at a Taylor Swift concert movie. What's next, Karen? You gonna get mad at a hen for laying eggs? The earth for revolving around the sun? Come on, that's the most natural and expected thing ever. People pay a lot of money for these tickets. They want to yeah, hear I did. Taylor. I'm sorry, they don't want to hear your little girl. They can rent out a theater themselves. This is a birthday party and a group of girls that are just trying to have fun. We got a birthday girl. party too. Ever seen anyone?
someone snaps so harshly just because you called them bruh? Well, this is your chance. One might think that the teacher got called a slur. Hey, Logan. Uh, yo. What do you mean by bro? This is an English class. Uh, I like to say you were talking about Socratic seminars earlier. Like, I like talking discussion. Like, I don't know. I'm just... Am I your bro, Logan? Bro. I don't know. Logan, am I your bro? No. No, I am not. I am your professor. I don't know. I'm going to you. You got a problem, Logan? You got a serious problem? You f*** up, Logan! Has anybody ever heard the term natural law language? Of course, another Karen cries for attention and climbs Mount Victimhood in milliseconds. But why did it happen? Let's debrief. Help! Help me! What are you, why are you videotaping this? What are, what are you, like, should we call ISIS here? That, oh my god. Or, so what, like, ice? That's a f problem. My skin color is your problem. <laughs> She's a kindergarten teacher. <laughs> and you're a kindergarten teacher. Isn't that shocking? A Karen full of entitlement. What's next? Are we going to expect basic human decency from her? Insane. The whole stupid reason this started was because she was walking down a sidewalk. I was walking up a sidewalk and she obviously looks like an older woman. So as soon as she was coming my way, I was directly going to be in front of her. So I kindly moved out of her way. As soon as I moved out of her way, she turns around and looks at me and she says, as you should. The worst thing is that this Karen teaches kindergartners the most impressionable age for kids. Is it safe to leave them around her? Doesn't look like it. I immediately, when I was already beside her, I immediately went back in front of her and I said that was not kind. You should not say that. And the kind thing to do is that we both move out of each other's way. You should not expect people to move out of your way. You do not own the sidewalk. She did not like my aunt. That's not all. She even punched the woman in the neck for no reason. And I'm guessing she did not like the fact that I was not mad or I was not showing any anger because that right there set her off enough to literally punch me right here. She like just hit me right here and then threw me and to push me out of the way. And I looked at her and I said, absolutely not. I this whole situation. Of course, the Karen thinks her behavior is completely fine and justifiable. She then ended up just like going around me and walking up the sidewalk. And I was like, where are you going? We already called the police. This is assault. You do not get to touch me. The police will be here. Where are you going? Homegirl um, sh like shoves into my brother-in-law for what? I don't know. And my brother was like, can you stop with the violence? And she turns around like if she's demonically possessed and sees me and like runs towards me and attacks me again. That's how Karen's act when they've been to India for a vacation. So spiritual and exotic, isn't it? Guess it's a good thing she got fired. Isn't it hilarious how this Karen called other people overly sensitive, especially when she's been actively racist? Over again. Why, you asked me how to spell it, so go ahead and pronounce it. <laughs> pronounce it after me. <laughs> she was trying to force him to say the word, and she repeatedly kept saying it, and she had a smirk on her face. Say it. And how many times did she say it? Probably, she said it a lot of times, probably like 15 or more. How did the issue come up? Well, according to several students, the class was reading a Mark Twain novel. When someone asked the teacher about the spelling of the N-word, that's what prompted this reaction from the teacher. 
The teacher got in front of the class and she was saying that this word is just an English word and everybody can say if she wants to, it's in the dictionary and that people are oversensitive. And if you thought you'd seen it all, take a look at her last clip, which is basically a news report of a Karen teacher joining the notorious yet extremely familiar high school chant, fight, 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 and provoking the kids to fight instead of stopping them. 24-year-old substitute teacher Natalie Garcia was arrested Monday, charged with four counts of child endangerment after this video came to light. You can see these are 12 and 13-year-olds at Kimbrough Middle School in Mesquite, Texas whose faces have been blurred because their minors appear to be fighting each other at the encouragement of their substitute teacher. The incident was caught on a cell phone video obtained by NBC Dallas. The mother of the student who filmed this video says she was shocked at what she saw. I was devastated. I was like, I couldn't watch the full video. I had to stop it multiple times because I didn't think it was real. I said, this must be a prank. This, this is not real. According to Martinez, her daughter told her Garcia pushed desks aside to create a space for the students to fight each other, with some leaving the classroom bleeding. I do not want this on record. The school district confirmed the teacher encouraged the fighting and told a student to keep watch at the door while fights took place. Who in their right mind? Because I trust my child to go to school, but I also trust the staff to keep my kids safe. Click on one of the videos on your screen right now.